everyone, and welcome to another episode of You Can Be Player 2. I am your host, Bukaya, and I am excited today. You probably already know what we're playing because you saw Capcom and Marvel, and that can only mean one thing. Today, we are playing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I absolutely love the Marvel vs. Capcom series. I used to play it all the time on the Sega Dreamcast. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was my jam, y'all. So I just got this. I know. I'm hella late. This game is hella old. I just got it. J don't judge me. You know what? I'm excited. I am hyped. I love this game. Let's just jump right into it. Now, as you can see, I got the Ultimate Edition. So that means that all of the downloadable content, including the bonus characters, costumes, um, all that kind of stuff is already on disc. So, uh, hey, you know what? That's what I get for waiting because I probably saved my ass a lot of money. So, oh, I missed the first thing. When the very fabric of two universes began to unravel and collide. And yet the, the cause of this disastrous occurrence was not a natural one, rather. It was the result of the most... Y'all going too fast! You know what? A skip. Okay, so <laughs> I can't read that fast, y'all. I'm like, jeez, I'm barely halfway through the sentence. They're like, next. No, come on, man. Uh, to hell with it. Let's just get right to the fun. Let's play offline mode, arcade. Um, this is the first playthrough. Okay, so like I said, I, I don't. I got all of the downloadable characters, but I don't know exactly who they are. So I, I can't sit here and be like, oh, this guy was downloadable content, and he's he's a bonus character that not everybody might have because I don't know who they are. Um, I'll have to research that later. Maybe in another video I could play around just with downloadable content characters. That might be fun. Let's do that. Um, and you know, I, I'm assuming with the way that DLC usually works for. Um, fighting games that they're either like this top row here or this bottom row down here. That's usually they always kind of fit them in somewhere. So, all right. Uh, I like I said earlier, I was a huge fan of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So I'm gonna play this first playthrough as characters that I enjoyed playing with then. So that being said, I'm gonna go with my favorite superhero, Captain America. Shield slash for the assist. Uh, I also really liked playing with Morgan, so we're gonna go with Morgan Shadow Blade. And for our third, why don't we do? Oh, look at you hiding in the corner. I see you, Shumagora. I actually really liked playing with Shumagora, uh, so I'm gonna pick him, and we're gonna do. Uh, let's do Mystic Smash. Let's see what you can do. I'm about to show y'all what I can do because I, this game, unlike Skullgirls, this may be the first time I've played this game, but I know this series, so I'm ready to whoop some ass. Damn, Morgan, be, care be careful, man. She's just gonna pop out that top. Shit. There we go. Oh, first attack goes to them, so that's that's all right. You know, we'll get him. We'll get him. I'm not too worried. Shield slash. She. Ship, ship. Now I'm just making random noises. I don't know. I'm excited, y'all. So let's get this done. Let's throw a shield slash at him. Oh, he blocked it or something. Yeah, this seems to be handling a lot like the series normally does. So that's good. I'm over here. The series usually handles like this, and I haven't played it since like 2009. Shut up, Bukaya. Okay, so I'm a, I like to switch characters when I knock one out. So let's, uh, let's give Morgan some some screen time y'all look at her she's she's cool she i love she's got like like vampire demon kind of thing going on i know i know everybody who's a phantom morgan is out here like probably grilling me right now because you're getting her backstory wrong or that's not what she's not a vampire she's not a dude i don't you know what i don't know what she is i don't care oh it's, okay it's not that i don't care it's just i'm too excited right now and to be honest i've always been more of a marvel fan than i have been a uh capcom fan so I kind of just naturally gravitate to those characters. I know a lot more about those characters. So if I say something wrong about a Marvel, or not a Marvel, um, well, yeah, I guess Marvel too. If I say something wrong about a character's origins or their backstory or anything like that, don't grill me. Come on, y'all. We're here to have fun. So you know what? Let's just get rid of the Sentinel right now. I'm at a level four. I'm going to just go all out blitz with him. There we go. And I can do it again. So let's do it again. 
Mystic Smash! He's so cool. I love his one. Oh, he's he's not dead. Get him, Morgan. Nope. Get him, Cap. Get him, Cap. There we go. There we go. Oh, see, he's so cool. I, to me, he's always been one of those underrated characters. I like him a lot. Humans are such strange-looking creatures. Yes, they are. Oh, uh, yes, they are. I know some busted-ass people, man. Let me tell y'all. I've seen some ugly sons of guns in my day. Oh, it's raining. Ooh, I like that color on Iron Man. I like that. Um, I, I went with their normal uh, colors and palettes for this first round because, you know, I'm just I'm just too excited to pick colors. Y'all saw in the Skullgirls video, I love colors. I love me some costumes. But I'm going to have to explore the bonus content, the costumes and colors later. Because I, was just, I just wanted to get right into the fighting. Oh, see, I'm about to drop her. Come on. Oh, on the rebound. Got her on the back of the head. So I'm going to switch. We'll do Morgan against Cap. Okay, I'm trying to figure out everyone's moves. Uh, you know what? At least with this, if I want to do a Hadouken, I can do a Hadouken. I didn't pick Ryu or Akuma. But hey, you know, it's the same basic thing. They got cool projectile moves and all that. I ain't got to worry about nobody. Not I don't know what not, about not knowing what I'm doing. I'm like rambling, but you know what? Oh, damn, damn. Shuma was in the match for like two seconds. Come on, do a super jump. Get all the way across the screen. Now we can take her out. Try to anyway. Nope, she dodged. She dodged most of that. So she, okay, 31 hit. That's not bad. Come on, y'all. Come on, Cap. Come on. Danger. Come on. Okay, get him, Shuma. Get him, Shuma. There we go. Two, but what? Two battles in a row with an assist KO. Hey, right, that rhymed, y'all. Did you see that? I, you know what? I might have to start rapping on these videos because I'm over here rhyming unintentionally. I might have to, you know, I'm gonna need to edit in some sick beats, drop the bass, and drop some sick ass rhymes on y'all. I got a trophy. That's good. I, I uh, wasn't actually looking at the screen because I was too busy envisioning them dope-ass rhymes. So I'll probably edit that in at the end of this video like I did the Skullgirls video. But we got a trophy, y'all. So that that's good. Uh, I think I'm going to finish out this round. And we'll call it there. But we got one more battle. So let's see if we can take out Shuma Gorath here. You know what? Let's fight him with Shuma. Shuma versus Shuma. There we go. Uh, I like the Spider-Man balloon. Can I get me one of those? Like, I want one of those in my house. Is there any way I could get those? Because that'd be nice. I don't think it'd fit in my house. You know what? Can I put that, like, above my house? That'd be cool. I like what I like the move where he turns to stone. That's cool. Oh, I like him. So we got, the, we got a parade going on. I don't know if it's, like, the Macy's Day parade or something. Is it... They got all the, you know what, it's just a parade, everybody celebrating. Why can't we have peace in a parade? Parades are meant for fun. They, people are here to enjoy themselves and we're over here fighting. Oh, that guy jumped off, that guy jumped off! Did you see him? That guy was in the background, he jumped off of the platform. Uh, Y'all, we about as high as that balloon, he's probably dead. All right, somebody go check on him. Cap, check, yeah, go on Cap, go check on him. I'm worried for that guy's safety. See, I'm over here getting my ass kicked and I'm worried about some random ass guy in the background jumping off a building. I, I don't think he made it, y'all. Because we just keep getting higher and higher. And he's, uh, that was it. He's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Man, this is a crazy game, y'all. We got people jumping off buildings and stuff. I, hey, you know what? He, see, look, see, we passed in the helicopter. I know he jumped a long ass time ago, but if we pass in the helicopter, he's dead as hell. That there ain't no way he survived, and he blocked my super move, so that's not good. You know what? I'm too distracted by this guy. He messing up my whole groove. That ain't good, man. You know what? Okay, here's the, here it is. Moral of the day, lesson of the day. Oh, block, block, block. Oh, I like that one. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. But here's, you know, here's the moral of the day. If you, if you're out at a parade and you're trying to whoop some, some ass, you know, you're over here fighting like I am, and you see somebody jump 
off of the platform you fighting on just trust that he knows what he's doing he's probably dead let's be honest he probably did damn see you know what? I okay I gotta focus here because I was not paying attention and now I'm getting my ass kicked like severe I'm way behind now oh come on see you know what okay I think I think I might have been my own worst enemy on this one damn it you know what I know and it's my fault see I was talking too damn much talking too damn much I wasn't focusing and that's that's what happens that's what happens y'all you know what learn from my mistakes but we will be back with this game for another episode I can guarantee it I love this game so thank you for watching uh, I'll see y'all next time my name is Bukaya bring your controller next time and you can be player two all right y'all it is time to clear off the mantle because we brought home another trophy as you can see there it is called above average joe um i looked up the description because thankfully this one actually told me what i did unlike some other games i've played skull girls i'm looking at you skull girls being vague and shit but this one actually told me what i did uh this one is actually um i guess unlocked you could say for getting a beautiful combo um, I remember doing this in the video. I saw it pop up to the beautiful on the side. It was when we got that 31 hit combo. I was going to say something too. I was going to make a joke. I was going to make a pun and be like, that's beautiful. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I should have because I didn't know. I didn't know. But here we go. Got to clear off space on the mantle. We got another trophy. We are just racking them up, man. We get, you see? Here we go. You know, you know how all the moms across America, all the soccer moms have all their kids, like participation awards and their soccer awards and all that shit. Well, I'm, we're going to start start collecting them ourselves because we just got our second trophy on the stream. So thank you all for sticking around after to see this. I, you know, I like showing you all this because it makes I like added, I like adding these in because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I've done something good today. Well, I achieved something. Well, I guess that's why they call them achievements, huh? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know the drill. My name is Bukaya. I'm player one. Bring your controller next time, and you can be player two. Is, is it weird that when I add this trophy stuff in at the end, I do my outro twice for the video? Ah, to hell with it. You know what? My show, my rules. Uh, ooh, there's a RuPaul quote for you. My show, my rules. <laughs> My name is Bukaya. Bring your controller next time and you can be player too.